Hello guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn how to remote login into our virtual Linux server through Secure Cell or SSH. Secure Cell is a cryptographic network protocol used for secure data transfer between the computers or networks. To use Secure Cell and remote login into our virtual machine, we need to know the IP address of our virtual machine first. So let's log in into our virtual server with the user root. Now go to activities. And click to the terminal. To check the IP address of our server, we use the command ifconfig. Now let's scroll up this bar. You can see this uh, ENP0S8, ENP0S9 and ENP0S10. These are the network interfaces. Uh, so in our system, we have three network interfaces and you can see the IP address here this is the IP address 192.168.7.165 and uh, we don't have IP address in these two network interfaces that's because we have only enabled one network interface for this system so that's why we have IP address in just one network interface and you can see the net marks and broadcast address as well and uh, if you don't see the IP address in any of your network interfaces, that could be because your network interface is not connected to the uh, router. And you can check that from here. Click this icon and you can see uh, I have three interfaces. This one, the ENP0S10 is off and this ENP0S9 is also off and I have just this ENP0S8 is connected and if you don't see the IP address then all of your network interface uh, could be off so you can just click to to any of the interface and uh, connect it to the router and after connecting your network interface to the router if you type the ifconfig command, then you should be able to see the IP address for that network interface. So this is the IP address 192.168.7.165 and all we need is this IP address, the username that is root and the password of root to connect our virtual server remotely using the SSL. And to do that, we need one more application. I'm going to use Moba Xterm application. This is the application that allows connecting different networks through the secure cell or SSH. I'll put the link to download this application in the description. So to connect to our virtual server, we go to session and select SSH. Then in the remote host, we type the IP address of our virtual server. That was 192.168.7.165. Is this correct? 7.165 yes then we have to choose the username that is root and port number the default port number for SSH is 22 we can also change it um, in the Linux or Windows as well but the default port number for secure cell is 22 so we are just gonna leave it as 22 
and hit OK. Okay, so now we are connected to our virtual Linux server and uh, actually when you use the MOBA XTERM for the first time to remote login into your virtual box through the SSH, it will also ask you for the password but uh, since I have used this uh, application before and it has saved the session for me it didn't ask me for the password but otherwise you have to type the password of root or any other username that you used to connect to your virtual box to get inside to your system so now I'm inside my uh, virtual box if I type ifconfig then you will see the same network interface that is ENP0S8 and the IP address 192.168.7.165 and we will be using this application mobile term to learn other Linux commands the reason I'm using the remote login and not using the virtual box itself is that using the virtual box is a bit tedious because if we want to use our mouse inside the virtual box or if we want the virtual box to detect our mouse then we have to click inside the virtual box first and then only it will detect our mouse and while we are using the mouse inside the virtual box we cannot use it outside of the virtual box that is our mouse will get locked inside the virtual box and to use our mouse outside of the virtual box we have to hit the right control key then only it will release our mouse and we will be use it outside of the virtual box like this so basically I'm saying is that um, if we want to use our mouse inside the virtual box we have to click in the virtual box first and then only it will detect our mouse movements and if we want to use our mouse back outside of the virtual box we have to hit the right control key and then only we can get out of this virtual box so it's a bit tedious so that's why uh, we are not going to use the virtual box but we will be using this mobile XTERM application so that we can um, connect to our virtual box remotely through the SSL which will be much more easier for us to learn the Linux commands so from the next video we will start learning the basic command lines and that's gonna do it for this video I just wanted you to show how to use the secure cell so that we can uh, remote login to our virtual box and the link to download this application is in the description check that out and download this application and then we will begin to learn the basic commands for the Linux CentOS from our next video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon with the new video Till then, keep learning. Goodbye.